scientific facts about aging. Lao Tzu once said that life and death are one thread, the same line viewed from different sides. Everyone ages. It's the body's natural reaction to being around for so long on this earth. Specifically, it's a result of breakdown or an inability of your body to create new cells. It's an inevitable fact of life that old age will get the best of us. So don't fight it, embrace it. Today, we're going to talk about all the awesome things that happen when you age. But first, click that subscribe button and hit the notification bell as well. And now, without further ado, let's talk the facts of aging. Fact about aging number one. Why do you get gray hair? One very obvious sign of aging is when your hair starts to turn gray. This isn't always the case when your hair turns gray. There may be other facts as a result. So why then does hair turn gray? In order to answer this question, we need to know what gives hair its color in the first place. Our hair is made up of cells called melasonite. These cells are located inside of our skin and they produce melanin that gives our skin eyes and yes, our hair is color. When our hair starts to turn gray as a sign of aging, according to researchers, this is because the melasonites in your hair follicles are beginning to fail to produce melanin. Thus, they fail to produce hair color. Although it's a classic story in history, hair color change cannot necessarily be proven by certain stress factors or holy sightings, as what happened to Moses after he stepped down from Mount Sinai. However, hair follicles can be damaged as a result of injury, which sometimes results in a small patch of white hair on the scalp. Other diseases like vitiligo or alopecia may also result in loss of pigment in the hair. Despite popular belief, you cannot give yourself gray hair unless you purposefully dye it. Plucking hairs, over dyeing, or certain lifestyle choices have no real bearing on whether or not your hair turns gray. The one true factor that you can thank for your gray hairs is genetics. Taking a long, hard look at your family, including your parents and their parents, will tell you more about your own hair. When it comes to something like baldness, those genetics are usually inherited from your mother, but other things might be a factor. Just be thankful that if your hair is turning gray, that at least you still have hair. Fact about aging number two, gerontophobia. We know that some people are uneasy with the idea of getting old, but did you know that there are actually people who actually fear it? Gerontophobia is not just a fear of getting old, but it's a fear of old people in general. Most people blame ageism for the fear and unfortunately, the prejudice is becoming more common. Experts on aging populations, the World Health Organization, said that ageism is becoming more prevalent than racism or sexism, possibly. They said, ageism, the discrimination against a person on the basis of their age, has serious consequences for older people and societies at large. Ageism can take many forms, including prejudicial attitudes, discriminatory practices, or policies that perpetuate ageist beliefs. It can obstruct sound policy development, and it can significantly undermine the quality of health and social care that older people receive. It's obviously bad to fear or hate someone for something they can't control, like their age. Remember, bestie viewers, judge people based on their character, not how old they are. Fact about aging number three, more and more old people. If you've got gerontophobia, then you're not going to like this one. More and more old people are showing up on the planet. No, old people aren't a race of aliens that are invading us. It's just that people who are just beginning their winter years are going to become elderly soon. The World Health Organization says that the number of people aged 60 years or older will rise from 900 million to 2 billion between 2015 and 2050 moving from 12% to 22% of the total global population. How will this affect us in the future? Well, not favorably. At least that's what experts think. According to the Canadian Medical Association, the resulting expansion in the population of the elderly might be catastrophic. They begin by talking about the aging of Canada's population is expected to have a major impact on the country's economy. 
society, and healthcare system over the next 25 to 30 years. They go on to say that, though age does not automatically mean ill health or disability, the risk of both does increase as people age. In 2006, 33% of Canadians aged 65 or older had a disability. The proportion climbed to 44% among people aged 75 or older. Nearly three quarters of Canadians over 65 have at least one chronic health condition. Essentially, what they're saying is because Canada's health care is free, the aging population might take a toll on that system. Fact about aging number four, no bones about it. For those of you who don't know, we actually start our life out with 350 bones in our body. However, did you know that over the years, the number actually goes down? Throughout our lives, we actually lose about 144 bones, bringing the total down to 206. Don't worry, we're not losing our bones to some evil fairy either. Scientists report that we go from 350 to 144 because our bones fuse together. Honestly, we think the bone-stealing fairy sounds a little less creepier than that. But why do our bones fuse together? Well, the BBC has an answer for that. According to them, the skeleton of a newborn is made up of more than 300 parts, most of which are made of cartilage. Over time, most of this cartilage turns into bone in a process called ossification. As the baby grows, some of its bones fuse together to form bigger ones. By adulthood, your skeleton contains just 206 bones. So really, it's absolutely natural and not all that weird or gross that your bones start to merge together. Fact about aging number five, you get wiser, less stressed and all sorts of other great stuff. Hey, this video isn't all about destroying healthcare systems and losing bones. There are a lot of great things about getting older too. For starters, you're wiser than you've ever been in your old age. After all your life experience, you have all this information that you can share about life. Not just because you know it from some book, but because you lived it. And while yes, your brain may be slower, keep in mind that speed isn't everything. The New York Times reported on a link between wisdom and age saying, a recent study in topics in cognitive science pointed out that older people have much more information in their brains than younger ones. So retrieving it naturally takes longer. And the quality of information in the older brain is more nuanced. While younger people were faster in tests of cognitive performance, older people showed greater sensitivity to fine grain differences, the study found. Young people, next time your grandparents have something to say, it's probably in your best interest to listen. You'll also get nicer as you grow old. We know the stereotype of grumpy old man, but tests have determined that that's just that, a stereotype. A piece of research reported on by the American Psychological Association discovered that agreeableness, a trait associated with being warm, generous, and helpful, bucked the theory that personalities don't change after 30. On the contrary, People in the study showed the most change in agreeableness was during their 30s and continued to improve during their 60s. So when you're old, you probably won't be yelling at teenagers in the streets, which is good news. And if you're not a morning person, then you soon will be. According to research, our sleeping patterns can shift as we age, so we get sleepier earlier and wake up earlier. That seems to work out well. One study showed that even though folks over 65 tend to wake up during the night, most said they regularly get a good night's sleep. So, if you've always wanted to be a morning person, then you've got your wish. Go out and seize the day! Finally, reports have shown that in your old age, you have much less stress. A recent scientific study reported on by Time Magazine found that older people were physically more disabled and had more cognitive impairment than younger ones, the natural deterioration of aging. But in mental health, the advantage flipped. People in their 20s and 30s reported to having the highest levels of depression, anxiety, and stress, plus the lowest levels of happiness, satisfaction, and well-being. Older people surprisingly were the happiest. So you can finally rest easy about aging. After all, it doesn't sound so bad, does it? And so, our list of all the cool things about old age is complete. What did you think of our list? Did you learn something about growing old? 
Did we alleviate your fears or just make them worse? Did we miss anything? Let us know in the comment section below all the facts about getting older. Enjoyed this video? Hit the like button and share with your friends. Also, subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching.